Hey guys and welcome back to another day of motorsport and the first day back running the C63 in nearly nine months I think is what I said. We're going to Southern National Motorsports Park which is in a town I struggle to pronounce. It's like Lukama, Lakuma, I don't know. I can't, it, it, it's in North Carolina. And it's on a very tight, small track, so that's not necessarily going to be ideal since this car always struggles to put its power down. But it's on a racetrack, it's all about having some fun. I'm running obviously pro class for season points. It doesn't really matter what car you run, it just adjusts your packs a little differently. And by my stylish orange shirt that says staff on it, uh, you might guess that I am in charge of timing for this event. I'm the chief of timing at this one, so hopefully I don't ruin anybody's day by doing something wrong. It'll be very interesting because usually when we do these night events, it's a little bit further into summer. Now, we've been in the upper 70s and up to mid 80s for about a month now, but today is kind of chilly. Right now, it's 64 and the temperature is supposed to keep dropping. So that will make it interesting for when is it better to run. Normally, you'd rather run at night just for the coolness effect and it's a little bit less heat on your car. But with a day like today, you might be better off running in the last two hours of sunlight. By the time we start running, we should have about two hours of sunlight before the sun sets. So usually the first run group ends up running in the daytime. And that honestly might be better for tire temperatures because as it gets colder, we might lose tire temp and not be as fast of a track. So it'll be interesting which way it goes. Obviously for me, it doesn't really matter that much. It's always cooler to run at night, but this car is only as competitive as it's going to be in street class. So it's all gonna be in good fun. run group we run in the night but it is chilly like it's 55 right now according to the car so we'll see if i could get tire temp in. i have to bust out a jacket just be prepared for a lot of wheel spin off the line i'm gonna roll it off the line it'll still probably spin like crazy till the tires get up to temperature again yeah it's uh it's definitely gotten colder since the first one. oh yeah Yeah, pretty much. And a lot of uh, understeer there. <laughs> the tires get up to temperature, but I guess 36 is not bad for a first run. All right, run number two. Got a lot of wheel spin on run one. Let's see if we could clean that up a bit. And a lot of understeer. Tires are cold, track is cold.
slipping and sliding all over. All right, run number three. I'm still without grip sliding around everywhere and understeering really bad. I dropped a lot of air pressure in the front. Hopefully that helps. good improvement but we're off pace in pro class which I don't know why I expect that I'm gonna be fighting for a win but we'll do our best if I could limit wheel spin and have a little bit more front end grip maybe we'll have a, a fighting chance somewhere I somehow have to raw time Jacob. He just DNF'd his second to last run. I'm right there with him. If I can raw time him, I'll pack some and that might be enough. No podium for me. All right, so that will do it for autocross number two. Unfortunately, I was so beat by the end of the night, we still did fun runs and I had to stay, obviously, to collect all the timing equipment. So I didn't get home till something like almost one in the morning. So I didn't bother recording anything. Um, it is unfortunate, I guess, for me, but I think I have too high of expectations out of myself and out of this car when running it at these autocross, especially in pro class. It's so much more competitive this year than it has been in the past. Now, two years in a row, I had a second and third place finish for the season. It's not looking so good right now for me for the, this season. So we'll see how that all pans out. <clears throat> the C63 definitely needs some front tires. They're at the wear bars and it showed at this event because it was tight and technical and I was sliding around on the front a lot, I think. That's why I lost some time, but again, what is the expectation here, right? This is a luxury sedan. It's fun to drive. I might just leave it alone. I don't want to allocate funds towards tires on this thing right now because I have so many other things going on. We got to take that thing to Wookiees next weekend. So be on the lookout for that video. Make sure you subscribe so you could see that. It will be a little bit different of a video than normal as I'm going to just kind of do it from my point of view. I'm not going to do any fancy editing really i just kind of want to show everybody what that event is all about and why is it probably the best car event you could go to as for autocross season the next event i'm going to miss the may event because i will be in helen so unfortunately we won't be running that one which is actually even worse for me when it comes for season points but 
it is what it is. I've got a lot of other stuff going on. I'll probably try to have a video every week for the next I don't know, month or something like that because I have such a busy schedule. Either way, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and what everybody always tells you to do. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.